So Sag, I am here to do your second, uh, not your second half, your month of April monthlies. It's so hard for me, like the time just blends together now that we're all on lockdown. It's crazy times, crazy times. Um, it's good stuff though. Good stuff. Hopefully everybody's out there staying safe, staying sane. Um, this energy has been intense, so... Let's see what's going on for you guys for the month of April in regards to connections, in regards to life. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a lot of cards. I want to pull some advice oracles just to see kind of where we're going. The song I got on shuffle for you guys was Faded Love by Tanashi. You and that faded love. Keep your commitments. Um... So if you've been saying you want to do something, maybe now's the time to just remember to like keep that, keep that in mind. Um, accept disappointments gracefully and be true to yourself. Okay, so we're basically, it, it, it's in a time where it's like a lot of things are up in the air for a lot of people, I would say. So it's kind of just about... Um, I think it's really taking it one day at a time, one day at a time here. That song that I got on Shuffle, Faded Love, it's like, let's just feel these feelings. Maybe you need to like process and take the time to really feel what you're going through and, you know, be true to that. Allow yourself to be and feel the way you truly feel. And then that's how you process it. And that's how you, um, you know, get through this. So... Let's see, bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Cups. So that's wish fulfillment. That's like happiness right there. So I feel like you've got something. I feel like April's actually going to be a good month for you. You've got a lot unfolding here. That's a really good card to get for the bottom of the deck. So let's go ahead and look into the reading. Let's see overall energy between you and another person for the month of April. We've got the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you've got... You've got options. This could also be emotional confusion. Like I said, a lot of stuff up in the air. Let's get a clarifier for the Seven of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, or this could be your energy of having, having your options. Being in an energy of feeling independent. Feeling, um, feeling good about yourself. Or you're dealing with somebody who's doing the same. This is like going from having... If you do have the time to yourself the rest of March, it's kind of like you're going to clear a lot of that emotional confusion that you have and you're going to be able to flow into an energy of um, being really strong, being really stable, bringing in some kind of abundance here for yourself. So let's take a look. Ten of Pentacles. You're definitely coming into some kind of commitment. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Wow. Then the Nine of Wands. Okay, so Sag. Um, interesting stuff here. Because Ten of Pentacles, you could be coming into... You could be already in a commitment. Whether this is like career. Whether this is relationship. There's a change coming in here. This is like this feeling of change with that Wheel of Fortune. Like some kind of luck is coming in. It's like this person you're dealing with the king of wands there you are there you are you're in this energy of like buckling down for something for long term you could be wanting to go towards this um nine of pentacles person offering them the last pentacle or vice versa but i'm seeing it kind of like this nine of pentacles person they're coming like this nine of wands they're coming to the end of something. They're coming to the end of a cycle and they're getting ready to move forward. They're getting, there's about to be a change in this situation. They're getting ready to move forward. And I would say they're moving forward towards this connection. Let's see this nine of, so they could have been the one with emotional confusion and now they have the time to sort through this emotional confusion. So let's see this nine of wands here. What is the clarifier for the nine of wands? Here's that magician nine of cups 
So th this is three nines here, three nines. This person's represented by three nines. So it's like they are coming to the end of something. They are getting ready for the end of something. They are like manifesting this new beginning for themselves. This could also be all you. Maybe you're not even dealing with the relationship, but there's a big change coming. Like a change in direction, change in the wind, but it's going to be one that brings in good fortune. And good fortune doesn't mean have to mean money. It could because I do see that you could potentially have some abundance coming towards you. But it means just good luck, good fortune. There's like something that is happening here that's helping you end something or helping this person end something and manifest their new beginning. If you're dealing with a person, this is like the break that this person needed in order to really process. Because I'm seeing they couldn't before. So you've got the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knave of Swords. Okay, so this is like, there's somebody here. They're, they've kind of kept their eye on you. They've kind of kept their eye on you. You've been balancing these priorities. And I think this person's going to be making you, uh, extending out an offer. Um, that was a lot of cards, but that Three of Swords did flip over. Okay. Um, three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. All these are flipping over. Keep that in mind. I'm going to, that's a lot of cards though, but I want to keep, um, I want to keep talking about that. I want to wait to see what that comes out. Okay, but what I just saw there is this person's, and this person needed this time to really let go of something. And they've been keeping tabs on you, but I think that they want to extend some kind of offer here whether it's communication, whether it's like, you know, offering some kind of information. It's like almost like they want to actually give you something though with that page of pentacles. It's an opportunity, you know? Um, so keep in mind, fit it however it fits into your life, whether it's love, whether it's career. Um, but this two of pentacles here, you're you're, you're weighing out your options. Let's see, can I get a clarifier for this two of pentacles? Can I get a clarifier for this two of pentacles? Please, oh please. Okay, so this is communication that's coming in. I think this person's gonna send you a message. This person's gonna send you a message because they've been watching you. They've been here as this little page of swords, wanting to communicate, looking for the right time to communicate to make this offer. Um, and I feel like you guys could meet up. You guys could meet up. Yeah, this person's been hidden. This person's been secretly watching you. Secretly watching you. I think the last time I saw your guys' cards, you had like a secret admirer. This person's been watching you in secret there with that high priestess. I don't think you know that this person watches you. Maybe you're like, oh, they don't have internet. They don't have this. Mm, I don't know about that because they're... They got their eye on you, Sag, and they want to make this offer. They want to communicate. They want to send you a message here. Um, they want to give you something that for you to think about. They want to give you something for you to think about. This could be that this person was going through something financially, and now they're kind of getting back on their, back on their feet. Um, sun card... Leo energy, the hangman, and the ace of cups. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This time, this mode of, like, sitting around thinking a lot. This person wants a new beginning in love. This person wants to offer you a new beginning in love. Um, this would be something that actually could make you happy. I think you're in, like, a good energy here with this sun card anyways in the month of April, but this is like, this is a person who's taking action towards you and offering you this new beginning in love that's gonna make you happy. You're gonna like this offer. You're gonna like the offer that you get. So let's see, Sun card, Two of Cups. This person's gonna offer you some kind of relationship. That's clear as day. This is gonna make you very happy. And I think this is somebody you could end up being in a long-term relationship with all right let's see ace of cups what's going on here 
chariot card. So this person's moving full steam ahead. It's because they've gotten some kind of recent success. There's something going on here. But listen to this. It's kind of like if you have like for some of you maybe you have been in a commitment with this person and there was a break here um and then it's like they've had time to think about things they've been watching you in secret but for some of you i feel like you haven't been in a relationship with this person this person's got more of like this secret admire energy but they're going to come forward and they're offering you this relationship and they're moving forward um fast here with this chariot card fast towards success they've made a decision they've gotten out of this mode of contemplation and it looks like they're coming forward sending you a message wanting to be in a relationship with you wanting to build something long term here manifesting this new beginning for themselves um and all the while kind of keeping an eye on you so sag that's what i'm seeing for you guys in the extended i will do um looking at more into who this is coming towards you let's look into messages from this person actions this person's planning on taking uh, what you don't expect to happen in the month of april as well as spirits advice and um what's blocking this so if you're interested in that click the link in the description box and i will see you guys there bye